Hello and welcome back to River Mountain Homestead. It is already noon. I am getting quite the late start this morning. I guess this morning. It may be a few minutes before noon. We'll still call it morning. It is Friday. Uh, we made a trip to town first thing this morning. Went ahead and bit the bullet and went ahead and bought a hammer drill. I needed one. I've needed one before and I've just never bought one and uh, now I own one, so that's fine. So I don't have to need for one anymore. There's not too many tools that I do not have, but this was one that I didn't have. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and in my opinion, and I realize there's several different ways to do it. When I was young and I started out, I always had to buy the cheap tools and I would use and abuse on them. And then once they died out on me, I would replace them with something nicer and I've learned that when I buy those something nicers, they typically last me for the entirety of me using them. I've got a lot of tools that I've had for 20 plus years. And I went ahead and got a little bit nicer hammer drill. Uh, this was the big d was the biggest one they had at Lowe's. Uh, thank you, Lowe's, for my 10% military discount. That always helps. So getting that chunk off of that. I uh, grabbed a, uh, oh, an 18 inch. That was the longest masonry bit they had. It's a 5 8 So hopefully by punching several of these holes, assuming we're gonna be able to punch those holes in that rock, we'll be able to get through that, get that out of the way and get these last two posts set and move on to something else and be done with setting post. Cause yeah, she's like, well, you know, you're going to dig post for the greenhouse and you're probably going to need this. So there's no reason to rent. So, yeah, that was a nice little chunk of change this morning. But it's in the arsenal of tools now and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, oh, smoking yesterday, those ribs and those chickens, those ribs were... Just had to throw that in there just so y'all could get a little visual and maybe a little bit of mouth watering going on they were phenomenal as you could imagine but i've got a few little things to take care of here and i'm gonna get this drill lined out and get some power cords run and we're gonna start drilling some holes and hopefully setting see setting these last two posts i've even got a helper somewhere if i can get her out of the air conditioner so I heard he told you guys I was just sitting in the air conditioner. Well, here I am. I'm out here helping, and he's so excited. Better luck to you. <laughs> he's already said I'm so much fun to work with. We'll see how today goes. Whatever she said to lie. It's gonna be a fun day. I just heard the air conditioner come on. That's my cue. All right, guys, I've got this hole here cleaned out back down to the rock after the rain and everything we had last night, and it is solid. This one is where she's going to be. It's roughly 8 to 10 inches deep, and we need to get quite a bit more out of it, so we're going to give this drill a whirl and see if we're going to sink or swim. You see that? That rock was only about three inches deep. We can bust a few holes in it, maybe we can get her out of the way.
I was able to punch several holes in it rather quickly on that piece of rock there. It was only a few inches thick. And, and then I was able to take my rock bar and bust and break through. So yeah, number 15 down, one to go. If I can get this last one done, I'm gonna party tonight. I'm gonna like drink an extra glass of water and be in bed by 8.30. that last one right there was a booger bear now I mean she was ornery I never did find the bottom of that rock I did to get uh, another six or eight inches out of it is about 18 20 inches where I ended up setting that one and I can live with that especially with our frost line being what three inches four inches around here so <sighs> mercy mercy me it is warm still uh, Thank the Lord for this breeze. It is nice. About 10, 15 mile an hour breeze whipping around if it wasn't for that. I, that drill, I'll give it two thumbs up. Uh, I, I could bog her down a little bit with that 5 8 bit, but you start putting 200 pounds on something, it, it can uh, choke down a little bit. But she did good. Uh, she, she choked right through all that stuff and uh, never let up. And here's that breeze I was talking about. It just won't stop now, but that, that drill was a definite good add-on to my toolbox uh, it's gonna be nice having that in the future for when I need it and that's usually how it works with tools you just get to the point where you have to have one and you have to have one and then you have it from then on unless you get well we won't even get into that but the post are set I'll let those set tonight and we'll start ladding this guy tomorrow. We're supposed to have a little break in the weather and supposed to get back down in the 50s and 70s. And I'm pretty excited about that. That's, that's kind of sad, but uh, yes, I'm pretty excited about the 70s because that creeping on 90, I wasn't interested in. But it is Friday and I need to sneak a little garden tour in for you guys. You won't believe what this thing's doing over here. It is just a madhouse already. So I'm gonna take you through the garden here and Everything's old enough now, I don't have to tell you what it is. So I'll just play you a little bit of music right here and we will catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm. 